everybody, I'm Matthew Hines, and I'm running for the United States House of Representatives in Washington State. I just want you to see how dirty and low these Democrats have gotten. Here is one place where I set up signs there, and another place was down the road a little bit, which yesterday I had to go and pick up the signs. Same situation. They just came and tore it down. But of course, you see the Democrat signs are still standing. So this is how it is in Washington State and how cheap and uh, dirty these Democrats have to go because they can't win the election. So I have to go around and this is, I haven't really had a problem with this, but because it's coming close to the election, they're just going to be tearing up signs. So I'm going to go and um, check my signs today and then we'll see how things stand. But, uh, so what happened here, do you ask? Well, was it the city that did this? Did the city come along? No, because it's, if the city had done this, then they would have taken everything. But they didn't do it. And I have further proof of that, and I'll show you right here. against Democrats in Washington State. They're so cheap and they're so sleazy that they'll go along and it's just like four days before the election. And they just come along and they tear up your signs. So, you know, it just, it's sad. It really is sad, but it's great because that means I'm making a difference. And they are terrified of me. So, in the end, it's probably good, and when people see this, when they see people tearing down my signs, then they go, well, they must be afraid of that guy. I think I'll vote for him. So, four days out, this is the state of the campaign, and I'm Matthew Hines, running for the 1st congressional District in Washington State, and before I go, I'm gonna drive down and show you these other Democrat, there's another Democrat running uh, for the 2nd District, and her sign, no problem, not bothered. But they sure come after anybody who's not a Democrat. So Washington State, cheap, cheap politics, cheap, cheap Democrats, cheap, cheap people, and just mean, you know? No respect for the system, no respect for democracy. So what am I gonna do? Put my sign right back up. So Suzanne Delbeni, you and your minions, you can tear down my signs, but every day I'll be back to put them back up. Another one of my signs is gone from here. And I had one up there, this is Lake Stevens. I had one up there across the street, also gone. So pretty crappy. All right, so I've moved the location. We're now out of Lake Stevens. And in this very spot is or I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, we actually had a sign here, and they were here forever. They were here for like two or three weeks. And then right before the election, of course, uh, gone. And we also had signs across the way, and um, also gone. So uh, yeah, right before the election, these Democrats go out and steal your signs. So anyway, well, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to do the wave to the voters that go by and uh, see if we can't get some more votes. So it's getting close to coach time and I'm running out of signs. So I'm Matthew Hines, running for Congress in Washington State's first congressional district. My name is Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath and I'm here to defend my state.
Congressman Susan Del Bendy has been in office since 2012, using her substantial financial resources thanks to Microsoft and her $84 million fortune, she has been able to continually maintain an office where people still have little idea what she's done. Well, she's learned to dance around and she's learned to do all the political maneuvers you have to do to keep getting reelected. Well, Susan Del Benny, it's time for you to go.